So how are we going to get this tourism industry, which is devastated, uh, cranking up again, an industry that employs a lot of people? Well, you've got to turn and look at your own population and the rich possibilities of welcoming them, inviting them, giving them promotions to get out and see, see their country. And find out how to win the journey of a lifetime. Take on the Pearl is proudly brought to you by Uganda Tourism Board. It's time to experience Uganda like never before. Let's take an adventurous journey to our amazing destinations as we embrace the culture, immerse ourselves in thrilling experiences, enjoy our authentic cuisines, and create everlasting memories. Hi, folks. Well, yes, I can tell you that Uganda is, is truly a pearl of a country. I uh, visited there several years ago uh, and, and saw my first lions in the wild in Africa uh, at Queen Elizabeth National Park, which is close to the border with the Democratic Republic of Congo. So it's a very memorable uh, place for me. And also memorable is that Ugandans are incredibly friendly and, and just were wonderful in helping me find the village where I stayed. I actually took a bus from Kampala, the capital, um, out uh, close to the uh, Queen Elizabeth Park, which is, uh, you know, a full day's drive, basically. So I have a very warm place in my heart for for Uganda and Ugandans and, and, and really enjoyed uh, the wildlife there. But the one thing I didn't see much of when I was traveling in Uganda uh, were Ugandans, were actual Ugandan tourists. I mean, there were, there were guys, of course, that were uh, in their khaki shorts driving the game vehicles and, and guiding and offering a lot of expertise about what, what I was seeing. But in terms of, uh, of, of Ugandans or Ugandan families out, actually out in these wonderful, gorgeous parts of their country, no, didn't see much of that. So this new campaign that's emerging, it's just one example of what's happening in several countries in Africa, now realizing we've got to target the domestic tourists because uh, that is our market right now. The international tourists are not here. They're gone. Well, the day has finally come. We asked you to stay, now come out and pay. Tati shot left that adventure weekend away in Ama Gang. It's time to travel again. As the tourism sector reopens, you too must play your part. Remember to wear your mask, sanitize, keep washing your hands regularly, social distance. Let's see you once again in Zanzi, traveling safely, enjoying and exploring your country freely and confidently. You know, in terms of targeting the domestic tourists, America actually does this quite well for the simple reason that America is the size of a continent with a tremendous variety of landscapes and cities and experiences and 50 states that are fiercely competing with each other for that domestic uh, tourist dollar. So what you see there is just a vast array of promotions, of deals, uh, of all kinds of um, approaches to, to, to bring those tourists to the uh, to the destination, whatever it might be, it could be a city, it could be a theme park, it could be a, a national or state park. A lot of great ideas, and I think some of those could translate well in Africa in this new domestic tourism phase. It's really kicking off now strongly. crisis is a major shock for developed economies, but for developing countries it is an emergency, particularly for many small island developing states and African countries. For women, rural communities, indigenous peoples and many other historically marginalized populations, tourism has been a vehicle for integration, empowerment and generating income. Tourism is also a key pillar for the conservation of natural and cultural heritage. The fall in revenues has led to increased poaching and habitat destruction in and around protected areas, and the closure of many World Heritage sites has deprived communities of vital livelihoods. It is imperative that we rebuild the tourism sector, but it must be in a way that is safe, equitable and climate-friendly. <laughs> 